hello friends welcome back to go to night so in today's video we will try to solve error http error 500.21 internal server error handler asp netcore has a bad module asp netcore module in its module list so you will receive this error sometimes when you will publish your dotnet core application on is or even on the uh, live server so you sometimes can receive the error now this error is basically all about asp net core module so how to config how to find out this error is you have to go to your web config so we will just open the web config of our published project okay so this is the project that we have published and this is the web config here So this error basically happens because of the modules ASP net core module in the web config. Now what you have to do is you have to replace it with v2 and after that you just have to restart your IIS server. So we will just see this and I will just make some changes in the file web config file and then I will replace the file there. Okay so this is our web config here. Okay, I will just put V2 over here, version 2, because uh, ASP.NET Core latest hosting bundle support the uh, ASP.NET Core module version 2. So you have to use V2 over there in the end. Okay, so now I will copy the file over here to the iNetpub, www root and export. Okay, so now I, I will just replace the web config file. Okay, uh, we have to give permission. So now I will try to open up the file and check if it has replaced successfully. So we have V2 over here now and what we have to do is we have to go to our IIS application and I have to restart the IIS server. Now you can browse the application. So now you can see it is running completely fine. So this is how you can solve your error HTTP error 500.t1 internal server error. So thanks for watching guys and let us know if you face any kind of issue. Thanks for watching.